Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Ultra Ball and I are very hard because the new Dark World Structure Deck is indeed coming here to the TCG. So try to relax your anus and your shoulders, grab your Ultra Balls and your Ultra Banana that's still sitting in our closet, getting down and dirty in the DMs, and let's talk about possible implications for the Dark World Structure Deck. The ever living crap out of that subscribe button so we can get to 800, I'm getting ready to say 900, and almost 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, we're currently sitting at 797 subs. Go ahead and smash that. Come on, we only need three people. Go and get three of your cousins, have them make a YouTube account, tell them to come and sub on over to the channel. It would make me and the Ultra Ball very hard and very relaxed. So smash it so that we can get there sooner rather than later, ladies and gentlemen. So let's talk about the brand new Dark World Structure Deck. So a lot of people, including myself and even bigger names like Robbie Cole, M. Cole 40, all these other people, thought that the Dark World Structure Deck was going to be broken down into like a side set or a main set. And that was due to the fact, at least from what I can tell, is that the timing of the Structure Deck seemed to line up where we wouldn't get it, they would, and then they would break it down for us into either a side set or a core set. We saw this most recently with Power of the Elements, where they threw in like the Morphtronic support and the Power Tool Dragon support into Power of the Elements and took it out of Duelist Pack Pyroxene. So they broke it down and put it into a main core set instead of it being another side set. Now, something interesting to note is that when COVID was at its height, we weren't having events, a lot of things were being broken down into side decks or even structure decks and things like that. And I think that that was really just because of like the supply chain issues and things like that. And much more back then than now, so we're still having supply chain issues. But regardless, it's great to see that we are indeed getting this dark, I almost said dark lord, <laughs> dark world structure deck. Um, of course, they changed it from Devil's Gate to structure deck dark world, which... Okay, it's not very original, but either way, it's great that we're getting this support. Sorry, I literally just realized that my camera was fucking crooked. I'm, I apologize about that. I think what is great about us getting this structure deck is that we're getting all of this new Dark World support wrapped up into a beautiful $10 package. And really, it's interesting to see, well, excuse me, $12, because, you know, fucking inflation, fuck me. <laughs> what... Besides that, it goes to show that Yu-Gi-Oh, if you think about it, is really going to evolve and speed up and change very fast. Like, it's going to be interesting to look back on this particular video and say, damn, like, Yu-Gi-Oh has really changed, like, even six months from now or eight months from now, three months from now. Because keep in mind that we're getting power of the elements, like, in just a couple weeks. The sneak peek is at the end of this month, July 30th and 31st. Three weeks after we get power of the elements, we get tactical masters since that was delayed. 1130 is when we get this dark dark world again almost said dark lord structure deck it would be cool if we got a dark lord structure deck though just a little side note there so we're getting power of the elements tactical masters we're getting the structure deck we're also getting the crystal beast structure deck on like what 9 30 and then two months later we're getting this structure deck then we also have uh in october my birthday is october 4th and like between the 15th to the 18th of october we're getting darkwing blast the next core set then like around the same time as the structure deck dark world we're getting the um, Magnificent Mavens uh, like little mini box set thing that comes with the new milling support that tier elements are going to use, like the Gravekeeper stuff, Ashiju, Ishtar, all that stuff. Um, so it's like really back to back to back to back that we're getting all of this. And so the reason why getting this Dark World structure deck uh, basically at the end of November going into December is that it makes you wonder, is this stuff going to stand a chance of being competitive? Because, you know, tier elements, they want to go to the graveyard. So maybe we'll see dark worlds combined with tier elements. I don't know if that would really work because if I remember correctly, the tier elements need to be sent from the deck to grave. At the same time, could we see dark worlds come back as a rogue deck choice? For those of you who didn't play back in, I want to say it was like between 2011 and 2012, dark worlds were a good pick due to the fact that they were a good rogue choice. I mean, when you look at all the Dark World monsters, a lot of them have high attack. You know what that means? They're high attack dark monsters, so you can virus the fuck out of people. <laughs> you know, I mean, we're talking Deck Devi, we're talking Eradicator, you could play Crush Card, I guess, but it's kind of liquid ass, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but the fact that you can run the virus cards is great in of itself, really against no matter what deck you're playing against. I feel like the majority of the virus cards, even the newer ones, like from the Lair of Darkness structure deck, are kind of 
power creeped immune because their effects will always be good, right? Like you get off two eradicators and you call spells for one and traps for another and just destroy all spells and traps for three turns. That's always going to be fucking good. Like you could argue that the original crush card was always going to be fucking good. Like there was no way that they could ever unban it, right? So what if we see Dark Worlds come back as a rogue choice with this new support and even with the really busted fusion monster? I had a lot of people telling me, when I was first reviewing the Dark World support, I had people tell me, Avery, you're an idiot. Like, the fusion's good because I was saying it was trash. But now that I've sort of looked over it more, like, yeah, everybody's right. Like, the Dark World stuff, yeah, it's not going to be tier zero broken. But that's that's not what we're shooting for here. Like, you, you never want to be in a tier zero format. I personally feel like we're overdue for one. But to at least have another deck in the pool that people can choose from, especially since we're going to be going into basically what's going to be a Trinity format, Exosister, sprite and uh tier elements especially when they get that new mill support the more choices that the player base has the healthier that's going to be because instead of someone bitching and complaining and saying oh well you have to play splider tier elements it's like no you can play sword soul you can play tri brigade you can play dark worlds you can play any of these other things you can play eldritch you know whatever so to see that with this is I think going to be very good and I feel like especially since the Dark Worlds can play the virus cards especially things like Deck Devi that will just blow Sprite and Tier Elements out of the water um I think it's going to be a good rogue choice going in now do we know what the format is going to become late November early December it's going to be Tier Elements Tier Elements and more Tier Elements I feel right because depending on what happens at a ban list at that point it it may it may warp the format it may not and that's the other interesting thing with this too is that this is dropping going into december end of november and darkwing blast comes out mid-october well we usually get a ban list every two to three months we get power of the elements two months later we get another core set so is konami going to drop a ban list two months into another core set or are they going to wait like an extra two months after that and give us a ban list after like three and a half four hopefully not five months that is, that's another big question mark. And I feel like that makes investing in the structure deck very difficult. It also depends too on what kind of reprints they shove in here. Like maybe Gemini Imps, uh, Ash Blossom could always use another reprint, but I feel like we're not going to be that lucky. Um, Dark Ruler No More could always use another reprint extra. Prosperity would be an amazing fucking reprint. Uh, I don't think that they're going to put that in the Dark World structure deck. They may put that in like the Tins or maybe Magnificent Mavens. I don't know. Um, but I still think you should pick up three structure decks of this upon release. Same goes for the Crystal Beast structure deck because majority of the time it's good to just invest in structure decks, even if you just keep one sealed and let it go up in price over time. But if you're a Dark World fan, that's going to be perfect for you. And I even remember playing Dark Worlds back in the day and I really did enjoy it because when it popped off, it's kind of like the flunderies of the format way back in the day. Because once it started steamrolling and if it opened up busted, especially since you got the danger support too, that just make it way more fucking consistent compared to what it was years ago. But once it got rolling, it was a big ass fucking snowball that was coming for your fucking, uh, what do they call it? Snow house. Like whenever you build a fort, snowball fort. Yeah, I, I grew up in fucking Florida. We don't have snow, so bite me if I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But all jokes aside, I'm just messing around. Guys, please, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this Dark World structure deck. I'm very curious to know what the community has to think because I haven't played Dark World in years. So other than being able to just spam the fuck out of the virus traps, I don't really know what else Dark Worlds are doing these days other than mixing in the danger package to go along with it. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Also, be sure to invest in tour guides because tour guides is broke AF a dark world, at least when I played it.